StreamYard is a leading multi-channel live streaming platform that allows anyone to run webinars and start live streaming in minutes. Simply choose all the different destinations you want to simultaneously stream to, then customize how your stream appears before launching and then engaging with your audience. Pretty cool, right? So my focus today is to walk you through all the essentials of getting up and running with live streaming using StreamYard in under 15 minutes. Now, just quickly before we launch into StreamYard, I just want to mention if you get value from this video or you enjoy this kind of content, then make sure to subscribe to this channel after watching this video. Okay, so with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and get you up and running with live streaming. Okay, so what exactly is StreamYard and how does it work? Well, StreamYard is a feature-packed live streaming platform that not only allows users to stream across different channels simultaneously, but also create and edit videos, host podcasts, run webinars and meetings, and a lot more. Ideal for businesses, individuals, and creators looking for a one-stop shop that takes care of all video, streaming, podcasts, online meetings, and webinar needs. Okay, so let's dive into how this platform works and how you can make the most of StreamYard. To get started with StreamYard for free, simply head over to your browser and type in streamyard.com or feel free to click the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Then navigate over to Get Started, it's free and navigate through the simple step-by-step -step process of creating your account and I'll meet you inside StreamYard. And here we are inside our free StreamYard account. Now, I just wanna mention and say a big thank you to StreamYard for partnering with us on this video and supporting our channel. I've been using StreamYard for years, so it was exciting when they reached out to us to ask if we wanted to engage in a partnership. So again, thank you StreamYard for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel. Now before we set up, create and schedule a live stream and then dive into the StreamYard studio, let's navigate up to the left hand side and cover these different sections. Under home, we can quickly go ahead and create a live stream or we can create a video recording and we can also get started with on-air webinar. Now StreamYard on air is StreamYard's feature for creating webinars, recording and hosting live videos. This is ideal for creating live webinars and streaming those webinars across your social media channels. You can also embed your recorded webinars onto your website and you have the option to host content directly inside StreamYard without needing to stream across different channels. Okay, so if we navigate back over to the left hand side, we also have library. This is where you can manage all your recordings. Then down below we have destinations. Here we can connect all our social media channels with StreamYard. These are the different channels that you can simultaneously stream to. Then below this we have members. This is where you can add your team to StreamYard. Okay, so let's click on destinations and connect the different social media channels that we want to stream our content to from StreamYard. I'm going to quickly connect a Facebook page, YouTube channel and X account and then meet you back here so take the time to connect the different destinations that you want to potentially stream to go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back here okay so as you can see in just a few clicks i've gone ahead and connected these three channels now let's navigate back over to home and then click on live stream here we can choose to stream a pre-recorded video or we can create a live video inside the studio and you can also select the destinations that you want to stream to Let's click on my Facebook page and add a title and description which will appear on my live stream on Facebook when this goes live. Now with StreamYard's free account, you can only stream to one platform. However, if you want to stream simultaneously across different platforms, you will need to upgrade to a premium plan. So with the free plan, I can only stream to this Facebook page. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to quickly upgrade to a premium plan so I can show you all the different tools and features that you can access inside StreamYard. I'm going to do that by navigating down to upgrade your plan, and then I'll navigate back to this interface so I can select multiple channels to simultaneously Simultaneously stream too. Okay, so I've quickly gone ahead and upgraded to a premium plan. Now, if I navigate up to destinations, I can select these other three destinations that I've connected with StreamYard, and now I can simultaneously stream to all three of these platforms. If I navigate over here and click on add new destination, I can connect other destinations that I want to stream to. Now let's come down and click on schedule for later. This is because we want to take the time to customize and set up our stream before we go live inside the studio. Let's go ahead and add a start time. I'm going to select this Thursday and I'm happy with the time. Then come down and select a thumbnail. This is the thumbnail that I want to upload and use. Here we can reposition and resize the image. I'm going to click apply and then navigate down to customize for each destination. Now you can see we currently do not have the ability to schedule a stream on X. So I'm going to remove this destination and stream to my Facebook page as well as YouTube channel. 
Now, if I click on each of these channels, I can customize this information per channel. I'm happy with my Facebook business page. Let's come down to my YouTube channel. However, for the privacy, I'm going to change the privacy to unlisted. Public means anyone can see your stream live on your channel once it's published. Unlisted means only those with a link can access your video. And private only you can see the live stream. Okay, so once you're happy with your customizations, come down and click on create live stream. And back inside our home under streams and recordings, you can see our upcoming stream. This is the live stream that we just scheduled. Navigate over to these three dots. Here we have the option to invite guests. We can edit the setup of this live stream and we can view on Facebook and YouTube. However, what we wanna do is enter the studio and start customizing our stream. Here we can check our mic and camera to make sure that the mic is working as well as our camera. Down here we can mute, stop cam, and we can click on settings. And before we dive into our studio, we can play around with these settings. We can change the camera as well as the camera resolution. We can also play around with settings inside our stream. And we can do that because we have time, this is a scheduled stream. Let's close out of this and enter your display name and enter studio. And just like that, we've arrived inside the StreamYard studio. Now, if we navigate over to the left-hand side and click on add to stage, that's going to add our video to the primary stage. If we navigate up to the top right, you can see when the stream is scheduled for, as well as the channels that we want to stream to. Each of these channels we can edit and remove if we like. Also, when we're ready to start streaming, all we need to do is click on go live rather than waiting for the scheduled time. Now, if we navigate down to branding, you can see we already have branding selected. This is where we want to set up the overall layout and branding of our stream. Here we can choose our brand color. I'm going to add my brand color. Then below this, we can choose an overall theme. I like the look of the bubble theme. We can choose to show or disable display names. And we can also show headlines if we like. With a premium plan, we can also add a logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then click on the logo that I want to display. Now under branding, we can also add overlay. For example, let's click on StreamYard overlay, and that's the overlay that's going to show on this picture. You can also add your own. Down here, we can add video clips. These are no more than 10 minutes long and need to be under 200 megabytes. For example, you could show a countdown, and you have access to all of these branding options when you're live during your stream. I'm just showing you how to set these up before you go live. Okay, so let's hide this. Down under background, we can add backgrounds as well as upload backgrounds, as well as play background music. If you have your own background music that you wanna play on your stream, you can go ahead and upload that music here. Okay, now let's navigate over to comments. We've talked about setting up our stream. This is where you can leave comments that everyone can see during your stream. So I'm going to add this comment. And you can see two comments have appeared. This comment will show on YouTube and this comment will show on Facebook because these are the two platforms that I'm simultaneously streaming to. If we come down to all, we can choose the destinations that you want to leave a comment on. Now let's navigate over to banners and here we can add a custom banner. Simply add your banner, choose if you want it to scroll across the bottom. Let's go ahead and select that and then add banner. So these are banners that you can set up before your stream. Now, if I click on show, that banner is going to display down the bottom of my stream. To hide this banner, simply click, and then you can simply hide the banner by simply clicking here. We can also edit the banner. I'm going to remove the scroll option and then click on save, and then add this banner to my screen again. And this is a great way to stimulate and create engagement with your audience. Now let's navigate down to private chat, and this is where you can chat with everyone inside your studio. Now let's go ahead and invite someone to our studio. Simply go ahead and click on invite, and then copy this link and share it privately to those that you want to engage with as a guest inside your studio. Now you can also allow guests to stream to their own destination. This means you can reach more viewers across different platforms that your guests have access to. So at the moment you're streaming to the platforms that you've selected, you can also allow your guests to stream to their destinations. And that's gonna grow your viewership as you'll reach more people across different channels. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And as you can see, Emma has joined our stream as a guest. She's currently in the backstage. If I click on add to stage, you can see she's on her mobile device. I can also navigate over to myself and click on remove and she'll be on the primary stage in our stream. Okay, so I'm going to select myself again. We have these different layout options. We have the solo layout. We have a cropped layout. Then we have side by side. If we have additional guests, we can also click on spotlight layout and then these other layouts across here. So I'm happy with this layout here. Now, if I click on this edit button, I can also customize layouts. However, let's leave that for now and click on cancel 
and then navigate down to some of our control options. I can mute myself, stop camera. I have settings over here like we talked about earlier. We can change the camera, camera resolution, as well as add a virtual background if we like. We can start recording in a local environment. By doing this, we will have high quality individual audio and video recordings for each guest. This means if you're engaging in a podcast, an interview, meeting, or any other kind of stream, the quality will remain consistent, even if the internet is terrible, because you have local recording turned on. So I recommend enabling these two options. Cloud recording allows you to record separate audio files for each participant. You also have hotkeys, layouts, and guess. If we click on guess, we can control what our guess, for example, Emma, has access to. Can they stream to their own destinations? Can they see viewer comments and posts? And these other options. Okay, so let's close out of this. Again, we can navigate down to present and we can present slides. You can upload these from Google Slides or from your computer. If we navigate back, we have the option to add an extra camera. This is if you have a different angle or something that you want to show. Then we have video file. And here you can upload a full video file. Or you can simply screen share. If we click on screen, share you can enable screen sharing to share a different display or browser okay let's close out of this and navigate over to banners now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to click here and remove this channel from the stream and click on remove I can then add another channel if I like I'm going to save changes now when you're ready to go live simply navigate up to go live so let's go ahead and do that come down and click on go live and your stream is now live across the different channels that you have selected. While you're going live, you can play around with the different banners and you have these different options down here that we covered, as well as engage with viewer comments and send private chat messages to your guests that are included inside your studio. If we navigate over to the left-hand side, you can see how long your live has been going for as well as the number of views. This is the number of people currently viewing your live stream. Okay, so let's go ahead and end this stream and click on end stream. Give feedback about your stream, and once your stream is ended, you have a few options. We can navigate up to share and we can download the recordings. We can also edit and repurpose this recording. You want to repurpose long form content into shorter content, or maybe you just want to make edits to this long form content. You can do that by clicking edit and repurpose. You can also embed this recording onto your website and share it across your different channels. And you can also view on YouTube. Let's go ahead and return to dashboard and navigate over to library. And in here you can see your most recent stream. If I click on these three dots, we have a few options here like edit title, edit repurpose, upload thumbnail, and schedule live stream. We can also share and download again or delete. Let's click on edit and repurpose. Again, depending on your editing requirements, you can choose videos, which allows you to trim and split your content. Or you can click on shorts and reels, and this is vertical form content that you can repurpose and share across your different channels. Okay, let's close out of that. And that is everything that I wanted to cover in this StreamYard tutorial for beginners, helping you get started with streaming. And there we have it guys, that is it for the StreamYard and live streaming tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.